what is up guys it's Soulbash welcome back and I'm sorry for the delay in the videos but we've been kind of busy with real life stuff and I wanted to talk to you about more mobile legends and some issues that I've been having now overall the game is fairly well put together I haven't really had many problems with as far as staying connected and things like that the only problems I've been having is this as you can see look there is a tank in jungle there should never be a tank in jungle that is one problem I've seen uh, people not really knowing their roles and what they need to be doing now I am playing Ballman which he is a berserker and you can build him all kinds of different ways I'm using a custom build to kind of give him a lot more life and a lot more regen to kind of help him be sustainable in these fights so when he gets kills he gets more life from it and it's quite a bit it's it averages out to like 1600 at the time so every time somebody dies even if you assist in the kill you get the health now as you can see the tank is still in the jungle couldn't figure out what he was doing but I've had this problem for quite a while like I said it, it's it's kind of been an ongoing thing since I started last week I completed every 100 matches that you could do and get battle points uh, and it came down to about a 50% ratio either you were gonna win or you were gonna lose one out of two times and that really has not changed in solo queue so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a time look in the description below I'll have the time set there and a link for discord what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some tryouts for ranked what I'm looking for is people that are knowledgeable about the game they know how to play different roles and they know the other roles that some of these players are like right here this is a good example that was an easy kill and right here we're gonna wait for half health and ultimate him it's another thing people mess up with Ballman if you don't really pay attention to his ultimate his ultimate does more damage when you have a character that is lower health so if they're at half health it's gonna do more damage than they would be at full health all you got to do is read the descriptions on some of this stuff and I feel like that's what a lot of people don't really do they just jump into the game and they don't really read the descriptions about any of the stuff and if you don't you're gonna miss out on a lot of key features and key things that some of these legends or heroes are capable of doing now that guy that was a bit of a yeah that was a bit of a uh, not very smart move to go in there and do that but what we're looking at is like I said we're gonna have a link in the description for discord guys go to the discord there's gonna be a general chat and I will set up another chat for this when I do it um, it'll be called ranked something for mobile legends or whatnot but I, I want better players that's what I'm looking for currently you can only solo queue you can two and you can five now I'm not really looking for five right now so I probably will be doing a lot of duo queuing over the next week probably I uh, haven't really tested out five this is another thing right here people tower diving they're still gonna die right there but that's another thing you got to look out for early game especially if you have minions coming under your tower they're not going to target anybody luckily enough I was spinning and was able to kill those two before they did get in and we got at least one kill there all right another thing that I want to talk about is map awareness guys map awareness is really huge in this game and there's certain parts of this video itself uh, this was pre-recorded I've been having these issues with these people like you said there's the tank still in the jungle really doesn't make any sense but I've been having issues with people not knowing roles, not knowing when to back out, or when in when to assist another lane. And those are really key things that can make or break a match. And it's really, it's really, I don't, it's I'm not sure what word to put with it. It's just really discerning because you get in there and you do so well, and it turns out pretty much the other four people on your team are either four and oh four and 0 oh and 4 or just that they don't even know what's going on and it's probably the lack of content for this game so far because there's not really any type of guides or educational stuff on stuff being helpful and I do do a lot of these this is kind of a lot different from what I normally do and um, like some of the people have been suggesting in comments they want to see like a road to legendary series because legend is the top rank in the game and it's basically a road to number one to see if we're able to get to it and I believe it is capable of happening um, last week I the highest rank I got up to was 52 before I ran into 
about eight matches in a row where I dropped literally almost three ranks in one sitting. And it was really, really hard to sit there and watch that because you see some people, the stuff that they do, like right here, I got all three of those people down really, really low, pretty much almost by myself. And you've got a full hit point guy running in. He stays in, takes a lot of damage from Saber, and then doesn't get a single kill out of any of that himself. Now that right there shows me a lot of people need to pay attention to what they're buying. Please stop buying the recommended builds. The recommended builds are pure garbage. All you're going to get out of it is some attack. Somebody hits you twice, you're going to die. So if you don't pay attention to any of that, it's not going to be very helpful at all. Now I did help jungle a little bit in this just to kind of go back and forth. I do try to pay attention to the map quite a bit um i would say if you don't look at the map every three to five seconds you're you're doing it wrong this guy right here should die pretty quick but that ultimate did miss uh, i've had a few problems with the joystick kind of sticking or just making me stop when i'm running sometimes especially on alice i'm not sure if it's just that character itself but i do have a lot of trouble with the movement on that character this one's not too too bad the only trouble I have with this one is when getting away trying to use the dash if one of the people are like really close to you it hits them and it stops you so you pretty much do not dash at all and that's the purpose of the dash for me is to either engage or disengage from a fight I know it does damage but it's really useful to get across walls and just move around the map especially with this legend it doesn't have any mana at all so you don't have to worry about that you can use it over and over it's just a cooldown timer now that would probably be another thing that you could look at with a build like this is for instance look for something that has cooldown reductions to it but as far as what i'm going with for this character is survivability and more hit points uh, because people do do so much damage uh, it's a bit imbalanced in my opinion so far there needs to be a lot of work on the balancing of the game uh, as uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies like Alucard is a tank right here and look how much damage he's able to do and I really didn't do anything to him now I have not played that legend yet so I do not know all of the abilities so I'm not aware of what type of skills he has but again right here watch he comes in my skill really does nothing to him but he just eats my hit points like it's nothing now he does get caught up and watch this bring him into the tower help your teammates out and you take him out no problem now this guy right here he is gonna kill me but we do have a revive my ultimate went off but I didn't get time to get away from him and didn't get any assistance from the jungling tank that was just probably in the jungle right there killing stuff now when I was talking about map awareness a while ago as you could see look at the map right now Tigrill the tank was just at the bottom not paying attention to mid lane at all the tower had two people on it nobody else was defending it and it got killed so that's what i mean about map awareness if you know where everybody's at on the map if they're attacking something they're going to show up on that map so look every three to five seconds at that map and make sure nobody's kind of out of place or looks funny you know you're going to know if somebody's in the jungle if they're killing something because you can tell the placement of mobs um, another thing is the ones that give buffs these guys right here make sure you take those out every time they pretty much come up I believe it's around a two and a half minute timer I'm not quite sure exactly how long it is before they respawn that's just a guesstimate for me but I do know that the regular minions that walk out they spawn almost immediately after match starts and then the trash in the jungle the lower hit points ones they spawn at around 27 seconds and the ones that have the buff they spawn at 29 seconds now here's two easy kills so we're gonna go in i'm not really doing a whole lot of damage but we're gonna get the double kill right there using that execute ability that's another thing you need to be wary of before you go into a match is the composition and what your teammates are using. That's a very bad spot to try to go back and teleport back to base from. Um, I'm not sure why he stopped right there. If you're gonna try to teleport, at least get behind your towers. Now, like I was saying back with the composition of teams. Now guys, if you get in a match, 
and you see all five people trying to go with ADC or ranged attack, something that does damage, that's not the smartest move. You need some type of support. You need a tank. Um, there's only one healer currently, which is uh, Raffaella. She's pretty good. I'm pretty decent with her, but I don't trust any other ADC or damaging character to carry me throughout that match. It's another thing is when you're doing the boss, he does stun. So about five seconds after you engage, if you get away from him, you will not be stunned. Now, as you can see, there's two people coming down on us, one below us. The smart move would have been to take that one out on the bottom first, which I did go back down and help him kill. But those top two guys should have been completely ignored and that first one taken out. Now, I do not remember if I got away right here. Uh, it's going to be close. All three of them did come in. We had our guy come up and we did get away there. We got saved by, uh, I believe his name's Yao Zhao. Don't, don't be mad if I mispronounce it. But I did notice, look, we do have the Lord pushing and we had somebody else down here. So I'm going to regen on my way there and try and catch up map awareness especially with the lord out if you kill the boss don't let it run in a lane by itself uh that's one key thing that a lot of people mess up they kill it and then they just run off to another lane to kill some other stuff this guy has a ton of hit points way more than any other character that you're ever going to run into in the game and he is huge for taking those hits letting you get in there and do damage now we do need another kill here, but I have to abandon this because when I drop down, Yao Zhao's down here attacking one of our other guys. I come in, take one hit from him, and we pretty much finish him out. Now he just about killed me before we got there, but look how much health I'm gaining back, 404. So I got 1,212 hit points just for assisting with that kill. That's what I'm talking about with the builds. If you pay attention, you can sustain longer, you can stay out longer. Um, Saber in this game did not do well at all. If you go O in anything on Saber, you're doing something terribly wrong. Uh, that seems like one of the easiest players in the game to play because I mean, you really just run in, hit somebody a couple times and they're dead. Uh, he, honestly, I don't see him taking much skill. He's really fast, has a lot of outs and the throwing stars that he has, it's, it's, it's easy damage now we're gonna get back away from everybody actually I was gonna test this Maya but she probably would have been able to kill me I've seen the skin on her which the skins do give a little bit more stats but they're not overwhelmingly better than anything that you can do yourself it's just minor stat increases and here we go with that extra damage look at that one hit he did on me and it took a big chunk of my life uh, but as far as this game so far, I do like it. I'll, I want to play it a lot more, but the inconsistencies are what are slowing me down. I tried dragging this guy into the tower, but the tower hit him and really didn't do any damage to him. But this is what I wanted to show you guys today. It was something a little different, uh, actually a lot different than what we normally do. But please try and remember and do things correctly because if not it's gonna affect the outcome of the whole team and i mean i can't carry the whole team every match eight and four with 10 assists and look at that oh and nine on saber what the hell there is no sense in being that bad at the game you only bought three items out of the game now this could have been a problem of a disconnection or something like that but we don't know and we won't know until it's actually fixed um stability it has been a little wonky the past couple of days with the ms but hopefully things will get fixed when they do some more patches i know they have rolled out the ios version in the philippines so look forward to that coming within the next couple of weeks to the united states and canada hopefully but that's pretty much all I've got for today. I just want to talk to you guys and let you know that we're going to start doing some more community stuff. And look forward to that link in the description. I'll have everything there for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.